Good evening everyone and welcome back to the next match in our European Championships. This is the final match of Group A and this is a huge one. The winner of this match will go through to the next stage. The loser of this match, I believe, if I've worked it out correctly, will be completely eliminated from the competition. So it is a huge one really. We've got Karl Gott representing Belgium and we have got Ilja Dragonov representing Russia. Mavarasha. So let me just figure this out again. I mean, I did it at the end of the last video, but it confused me. Right. So at the moment, Andre the Giant is on two points. Namdar's on one, Dragonov's on one, and Gotch is on one. But of course, Dragonov and Gotch both have the opportunity here to get themselves a second point. So as we've already said, if two people finish on the same amount of points, then we will go to the direct match between the two to decide who goes through. So Andre the Giant is currently on two points. Now I'm on one. If Dragunov was to win, Dragunov will go up to two points. Um, because he lost to Andre the Giant, then Andre would finish one. Dragunov would finish two. And then it's down to the match between Noam and Karl Gotch, which Noam won. So Noam would finish third and Gotch would go to fourth. So yeah, if Gotch does not win this, he is out. In the case of Dragunov, so if Gotch was to win this, he'd go up to two points. Uh, Gotch defeated Andre, so Gotch would top the group, Andre would be second, and then Dragunov would be third, and Noam would be out. So yeah, no, I think Dragunov's safe then, actually, thinking about it. I believe Dragunov is safe, it's just a case for him whether he finishes second or third. Whereas for Karl Gotch, if he doesn't win this match, he will be eliminated, Noam Dar will move through, so... Yeah, it's actually not as bad for Dragunov as I thought. I thought it literally was a case of whoever wins, or whoever doesn't win, is out. But it looks like Dragunov should be okay, if I've worked that out correctly. Of course, I probably haven't. So um, you can check out the description down below. There will be a link to the spreadsheet showcasing the actual tournament itself. Beware, though, if you're watching this a little bit behind, there will be some spoilers available. I just thought, actually, I should probably put Andre the Giant's points on the rankings. So Andre, of course, defeated Noam Dar earlier on today. Noam Dar is on minus two. Andre moves up to minus one. And it's Karl Gotch in control at the moment. I mean, I would like... Dragunov to do well, because I, I do quite appreciate Dragunov's ability. However, Karl Gotch is an absolute legend of wrestling, so I would not be completely disappointed if he did well, of course. I mean, I want everyone to do well at the moment, to be honest. There's so many good wrestlers. I, I mean, I'm just looking at the rankings now, and there's so many who are on really low points that really shouldn't be when you look at it. I mean, the likes of Christian Cage on minus four, Kurt Angle on minus four, um, Imperium themselves, Marcel Barthal and Fabian Eichner both on minus four as well. Chris Benoit's on minus six, bloody hell. Um, Gargano's on minus three with Stan Lane and Kenny Omega, Adam Cole, Oni Lorcan, Bradshaw, Tanahashi's on minus two with Shibata, and it's just, it's mad really. It really is mad, but I'm sure we'll work this out. We are going to do some, a little bit of rank, uh, rankings rush. Bit of a tongue twist of that one. Uh, coming up in the next few weeks. I did have one done, but I'm going to change it up a little bit, I think. As Kyle Gotch now stalking, Dragunov takes him up into... Did Kyle Gotch just hit a Steiner screwdriver on Ilja Dragunov? Did I just see that correct? It's only a two, though. Dragunov kicking out. A Steiner frickin' screwdriver. Insanity, that was, I'll tell you. Big knee in the face by Dragunov. Bring Gotch back up to a standing base. Now rolling him through and into that deadlift. With a suplex as well, Dragunov. Looking good here. Of course, if Karl Gotch does not win this, he will be eliminated from the Euros and Noam Dar will move through in third position. If Gotch does win this, he'll move through in second place. No, in first, actually, place. Wow. 
So Gotch has got the opportunity here to either win the group or finish completely bottom. It's all or nothing for Gotch, really. All or nothing. Gotch misses the drop kick, which was pretty, uh, pretty bad, to be honest. Big knees in the gut by Dragunov, who brings him back up to his feet and into a big German suplex as well. And again, another huge German suplex on the outside by Dragunov. Dragunov slides back in the ring. Is he going to try and win this one by count out, is he? He might just do it, you know. He might just sneak this by count out. Gotch is slowly trying to get back up to his feet. I don't think he's going to do it. He's not at all. And Dragunov has won. Wow. Well, there we go. Ildra Dragunov moves up to plus one in the rankings. Uh, Mr. Gotch... And we'll move down to minus one in the rankings. But more importantly, let me try and figure this one out now. Because it's it's still confusing my brain quite a lot, to be honest. Right, so if do that and do that and do that and do that. So, yeah, it's easier now. So, Andre the Giant defeated Ilja Dragunov. So, the group is Andre the Giant in first, Dragunov in second. And because Namda defeated Karl Gotch... Da finishes third, and Carl Gotch in fourth. So Gotch is eliminated from the Euros. Uh, and winner of Group A then will be... So winner of Group A is Andre the Giant. I've just put this in the knockout stages, sorry, one second. Andre the Giant. Um, Runner-up in Group A is Il... J Drag... Gunov. And third place in Group A is Noam Da. There we go. So those guys, those guys, those guys are now in the knockout stages for this tournament. We'll find out who they'll be facing off against a little bit later on. But there we go. Well done to Dragunov. Managed to sneak this victory by count out. Very smart on his part. Maybe not the uh, what people were hoping for, but he's done incredibly well for himself. So there we go. There we go. Andre the Giant moves through with... Yeah, so basically Gotch is out. That's it. Gotch is out. Uh, I'm just marking down on the rankings now. Uh, yellow, orange, and red. There we go. Boom, there we go. That is Group A done. Tomorrow we'll be back with Group B and the first match of Group C. So Group B... We will actually have Killian Dane versus Drew McIntyre, um, which at the moment is Dane on one point, McIntyre on two. And we'll also have Cesaro versus Fabian Eichner. Now, if Cesaro beats Eichner, then Dane will qualify no matter what happens in his match with McIntyre. However, if Eichner does pick up the victory, it could cause a little bit more difficult for him. It could cause it. No, actually, it won't. I think Dane is through no matter what. I think, um, yeah, I think Dane is m m through no matter what. If Eichner beats Cesaro, then it's Cesaro gets knocked out and Eichner moves in. That's what it is, into third place. Okay, that should be interesting tomorrow then. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Of course, if you have, hit the like, subscribe, the good stuff, and I will see you again tomorrow for our next three matches. We've also got our third, our first match, sorry, from Group C as well, as Nikolai Volkov takes on Otis. Anyway, good night, God bless, Alvida Saint, and I'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye.